at 22 Raptor shoots down Chinese spy balloon off Carolinas with missile. The U.S. has shot down a Chinese surveillance balloon off the coast of South Carolina as multiple assets have entered the area to recover its debris. The saga that began with the balloon's appearance high above Billings, Montana, on February 1 reached its climax Saturday with an explosion and the balloon's subsequent fall from high altitude. Videos of the shootdown showed an F-22 Raptor launching an air-to-air -air missile at the balloon for the kill. This would be the F-22's first kill. In a statement after the shootdown, Secretary of Defense General Lloyd James Austin said fighters assigned to U.S. Northern Command shot down a high-altitude surveillance balloon launched by and belonging to the People's Republic of China PRC, over the water off the coast of South Carolina in U.S. airspace. On Wednesday, President Biden gave his authorization to take down the surveillance balloon as soon as the mission could be accomplished without undue risk to American lives under the balloon's path, Austin said. After careful analysis, U.S. military commanders had determined downing the balloon while overland posed an undue risk to people across a wide area due to the size and altitude of the balloon and its surveillance payload. Today's deliberate and lawful action demonstrates that President Biden and his national security team will always put the safety and security of the American people first while responding effectively to the PRC's unacceptable violation of our sovereignty. Austin also thanked the Canadian government for its assistance in tracking the balloon in its part of North American Aerospace Defense Command. In remarks to the press pool, President Biden confirmed he ordered the balloon shot down on Wednesday, once it could be done without risk of collateral damage. On Wednesday, when I was briefed on the balloon, I ordered the Pentagon to shoot it down on Wednesday as soon as possible. They decided, without doing damage to anyone on, on the ground, they decided that the best time to do that was as it got over water outside within our within 12-mile limit. They successfully took it down, and I want to compliment our aviators who did it, and we'll have more to report on this uh, a little later. Thank you. KC-135 Strata tanker refueling aircraft, as well as F-22 Raptors, were observed loitering in the area, along with a U.S. Navy P-8 of Poseidon patrol aircraft. A U.S. Coast Guard HC-130 search and rescue plane also flew off Wilmington. The F-22s flew with the call signs Frank-01 and Frank-02 a possible homage to World War I flying ace and U.S. Army Air Service Medal of Honor recipient First Lieutenant Frank Loop Jr., better known as the Arizona Balloon Buster. Frank 1, Flash 1, CLI 1. I just copy Splash. That is a big kill. The balloon is completely destroyed. 